Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Filthy and we're back with another video. Today we're having a look at mages in the season 23. Uh, not much has changed, like none of the major skills, uh, none of the items uh, have been buffed. But what we have had, uh, and this is obviously PTR, so it is subject to change, but honestly, guys, this will still be here. Uh, what we have had is a follower rework, which is just absolutely amazing for keys and for T16. Uh, before we jump in and do take a look at all of it, uh, thumbs up always brightens my day. Uh, and obviously, if you do like this game, do subscribe. We will have plenty more videos uh, on the way. PTO finishes today, uh, but we've still got some more stuff to cover, uh, which will be pretty good. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be a straightaway thing. I mean, you don't need your Legacy Dreams gem at 99. We did this last season uh, pretty comfortably with uh, with a much lower gem, but we did have the, the advantage of a fourth cube slot. Uh, we have got, I think, a couple of items not ancient. So the way Legacy Dreams works is the higher the gem, the more damage you do, and you do damage based on ancient items so you get a set modifier for each legendary and that is doubled for every ancient item so you want ancients uh, whenever you can now obviously i've left a few off just to kind of reflect because it's not like the easiest thing in the world uh, to get ancient items so we've left one two three four i think five five so that's not bad five out of the 13 slots um mages if you've played necro at all uh, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but just in case you haven't, you will click mages and this will empty all of your essence. The mages do more damage on the basis of essence because they get the singularity rune here from the resist volition shoulders. We have a scythe of the cycle, so the mages get a 400% damage mod. Uh, we just need bone armor active. Now this, I probably should have said at the start, is with no main stat paragon. Uh, so we've got like under 10k int uh, and under 800k sheet damage. So obviously pretty low requirements. At some point, you can swap this off uh, for a Trigul's Crow Fang if pressing this button every few seconds annoys you. Uh, that tends to be what I do later in the season, but early on, uh, I think it's probably good value to take this because uh, it just it offers a bigger modifier than the Trigul's Corroded Fang. Uh, we have a Circle of Nilusia Vol. We always need this. This gives us extra mages and it'll last longer. Uh, we also have Simulacrum. So we get four mages for every cast because we get double for sim and we get double for circle. Reservoir gives us double the essence. So when we pop it, uh, our essence pool like this will go up to double. Uh, 660 is the max that we can have um, normally, but we can get a little bit more because we are taking the Stone of Jordan. Um, but mm, I've pretty much gone for gold finds, I guess. Uh, right, we've got a squirts here. So we get double damage when squirts is up like this. Uh, very important, you will need a Wildebeest Gizzard, you'll need some form of shield uh, to protect you, because even though we do have uh, Gold Wrap on the character, even though uh, we have the Boon of the Horde gem and the Follower has the Avarice Band, what will happen is you won't take, you, it won't look like taking damage, but your squirts will drop if things hit you. But if you do take the Gizzard gem, you will have a shield uh, and that will prevent that damage loss. Now, by all means, you don't have to go this way. You can just simply take an Enforcer, um, but obviously it is a nice double damage mod uh, as opposed to Enforcer, which probably adds like 40, 50%, depending on how high uh, your gem is. So again, there is a flexibility to this. You could strip this Haunted Visions amulet and put it on the character. Again, at higher paragons uh, and higher damage. Haunted Visions incidentally makes these sims last forever. So these, uh, this dude here will never go away, uh, which is brilliant. You only have to press it once uh, and it is absolutely good to go. Uh, we have got an Indium. So when we kill an elite, we get infinite access to Blood Rush so we can teleport around the map. This does always keeps builds nice and zippy. Again, super, super early. If you're struggling for damage, uh, something like a Rylena's Shadow Hook uh, would give you damage based on max essence. So again, that would be another like 325% damage modifier. So obviously you'd crush with this. Uh, and as I say, you want, you want to work yourself up to in gym because it just makes those keys so much, uh, so much faster. We've got a Seraplate in the cube whenever we devour. We're going to go for the Aura because we just can't be bothered them unlocking. Uh, but we get extra essence, helps fill it up. Just means we can always pump out uh, mages and have, be doing the maximum damage. Uh, we have got a Tasker and Theo, which gives us uh, increased attack speed for pets. I think the breakpoint for this is lower than the 50%. I don't think you need to worry about the 50%. Uh, as you can see, I've rerolled the gold find on there because I think that's probably the most important thing. 
we've got a gold skin. Um, the follower, this does emanate, so in theory, the follower can take it, no problem. But the 100% secondary gold font, I think is very useful because gold uh, is just at a premium these days. We've got a Lyrics Crown. Again, I've stuffed a gold gem in here, so a emerald, just to get another 81%-ish. Uh, again, I've rerolled gold find on the secondary. Uh, you, you can spot the theme here. Uh, we have got, on Stone of Jordan, you just need to match the elements. Now, physical is actually the correct element for the mages on life support, but this Stone of Jordan could easily be cold or poison. You would just have to match it uh, correspondingly on your amulets. And obviously, either amulet, uh, let's get the cube back up. Either amulet is fine, doesn't have to be uh, this way around. The Wazashin Arm Guards, because the follower has got Nems now, this means that we can take these. If we break something, we get a speed boost, which is cool. Um, you know, I mean, other than other than somehow getting Wreath of Lightning in here, um, which again, you would have to get rid of the squirts and the shielding. I can't really think of too many ways to get more move speed in, but hey, always open to ideas. Uh, and on that theme, we do have Stuart's Greaves, so when we Hit teleport, we get 10 seconds of running around really fast. Again, lost time offhand is quite important uh, because we have a cold skill here in Bone Armor Harvest of Anguish. So we get up to 50% move speed whenever we hit. We also get move speed from Bone Armor um, Harvest of Anguish anyway. So 10% move speed, it's not amazing, but you know, every little helps, so to speak. Uh, we are also working in the new reworked Blackthorn pants. You know, I love stuffing new items in. Uh, so again, just match the element with your Stone of Jordan, your braces, your amulet, you'll be uh, absolutely good to go. You don't need any cooldown in this build. None of these skills uh, are on cooldown, save for Simulacrum, which we have established lasts forever. So you don't need any CDR, which is great. Uh, so honestly, the the gear, the, the, the requirements are pretty low. Um, skeletal Mage damage on your boots and on your helm will obviously help you out a lot. Uh, and I think other than that, it's just, it's just crit chance, crit damage. Uh, main stat, you know, all the all the usual stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that probably covers the gear. Uh, looking at the follower, follower can take sages now, so make sure the belt goes on. Um, now, you've got a choice here uh, in terms of hats and gloves because you want sages for double DBs. So again, at some point in the season, you might find you don't need any, uh, so you don't, you don't have to go for this. And gloves of worship would allow shrines for 10 minutes, which is nice. Uh, so Broken Crown early on we like gems we like finding gems for augments so this would be an early season setup so follower of, um, follower of time flavor of time emanates so we get double pylon durations we've got the double dbs we've got canes on for 25% extra keys uh, you know we've got homing pads that we can teleport we should probably have I, I didn't get a chance to test this yet on PTR but the the um, where is it in a cube there is a spear, spear of Lysander, which will give us a random shrine effect. So if you do go for Gloves of Worship, I would put that on the follower uh, and take the Enchantress because that will give you the shrine effect without having to you know, click the shrine and it will work. You know, it works on assist basically. Uh, Rogue to make up these bonuses here and average bump. But as I see it, as I said on stream plenty of times, I think it's a straight up choice between Gloves of Worship or Sages early on. So, you know, make your choice. Or Canes, I mean, I'd, like, I'd be loath to drop this. I think keys are way more important than DBs, but, you know, maybe that's just personal opinion. Uh, follower, try and get to 25K main stat. Um, you know, obviously we could put, I could put the gems and I just haven't been bothered, uh, but it's on a sliding scale. So you're getting most of the benefits. Uh, I've gone for the cheat death, but, you know, realistically, um, it, do it doesn't much matter. The, the skills don't matter too much for T16. Uh, skills was I think we've covered everything save for frost spikes. The reason we go for this, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can pick any rune, um, but it's just for opening doors. You know, like it's a pain in the ass casting your mages at doors. So just some form of generator. You know, if you like the animation from Grim Scythe, you can pick that. Same for Siphon Blood. Whatever. You just you just want something to bust the door down, basically. Uh, I think one of these might have a bigger range, so you know, possibly that's something. Uh, again, if you're trying to work Crispins in, then that is a slow, that's a stun. Um, so again, yeah, you can mess around with that if you want. Passives wise, overwhelming essence, more essence is more damage. Uh, and that reminds me actually on the gear, you can pick it up as a secondary on your scythe. Um, of gold find on here, but again, you can do max essence here and on the Stone of Jordan, they're the only places that you can't get it. Uh, 
Dark Reaping. This just again gives us more essence, so we can pretty much always pump out a set of mages. Uh, like they do cost health, but again, Dark Reaping will top us up. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, Fueled by Death. We get move speed when we consume corpses, so it keeps us zippy. Um, final service probably isn't needed because we do already have the follower cheat death. So extended servitude could be a good shout to make the mages last a little longer. Uh, other than that, I don't really think there's terribly much useful. You could go life from death and try and work in Reaper's Wraps if you're really struggling with your essence. Uh, but for T16, you probably shouldn't. So I think that covers all the waffly uh, guide portion. So let's do the fun bit, uh, which is jump in. So we've obviously popped Sim. So we're just going to open the T16 Rift. Uh, and then basically all we need to do is just make sure Bone Armor doesn't drop. And then we are fine. Pog, look at this. What a map. So Bone Armor up, Mage is out. Uh, we just need to get that first like extra set out. And the essence will now just fly. We don't need to worry too much about the bone armor stacks, so it doesn't have to be at 10, but obviously it's a little bit more move speed. And now that we have the Injum up, uh, provided I'm not a Divi, we can teleport around, uh, you know, like this. And we just, you know, we look for the next elite. Injum is off. And, uh, oh, there, is this, is this it here? Yeah, here we go. So we'll proc it again, Injum. And as you can see, pretty much perma essence, which is, which is great. And yeah, we just we just the mages will flatten the map, and obviously you know 700k sheet damage, you'll you'll get that number well up, well higher than that. Uh, goblins will proc your injum, so that's obviously good. Uh, Waller shielding, obviously a pain in the ass for for any build. Not much you can do about it. Uh, but yeah, I mean stun stun, I guess on the on the bone spikes. We did have this on, I think, because we were playing with Crispins for a bit. But the stun obviously would be kind of handy. Because it would mean that we could, um, you know, lock in place with a stun. So you know, maybe maybe there's an on-the-fly improvement in the video. But yeah, this is this is always always a pretty good, uh, pretty good build, uh, and always a pretty good uh, pretty good time of it. I think doing the keys. We've got the tiny one. It's normally never up on these things, but whether whether we do T16 on a set for Necro next season, I think is going to be quite quite debatable uh, at the moment Rathma doesn't really look terribly up to it but um, you know we're hoping for a rework so it may well be that Rathma does does keys we can do keys on an Arius uh, that's it that's a fairly decent set uh, I don't know about Trags I'm not sure I'm not sure we could do it on that but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see where we are But yeah, Necro. This is this is pretty much always always the kind of build I go for each season. Whenever I set a Necro up, it's generally very competitive. Um, normally, because because of the Legacy of Dreams element of it, you know, we can uh, we we can we can be very flexible with it. But I guess with the follower emanation changes, we probably have to do that less, uh, which obviously is is pretty good. Um, but yeah, that is the video, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy season twenty three. Uh, and I'll be back. I'm going to go downstairs and let my wife in because she's been phoning me and knocking on the door repeatedly. Poor thing, can't get in. This is how much I care about these videos for you. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble. Take it easy. Peace.